Hello everyone, and welcome to yet another exciting episode of Universal U. Today we will be discussing a rather controversial topic. And that's about all I'm going to say about that. All right. In the previous videos, we were talking about the conception of the human race via the intervention of the Syrians and the Nephilim. And now I'm going to go into detail on the strain of humanity that resulted in civilization as we know it. All right, here we go. All right, during the gold mining operation, the Nephilim cities became quite elaborate and they had very huge gardens in walks Enki. <laughs> Enki is Enel's younger brother. And according to the Sumerian records, his name translated means snake or serpent. Now, there was a dispute between Enel and Enki, which resulted in Eve partaking of the tree of knowledge, according to the Sumerian records, they use the name Eve. All right. Anyway, had a. Uh, uh, had she partaken of the tree of life, she would have gained immortality. But as a result of partaking in the tree of knowledge, what happened was Adam and Eve gained the ability to reproduce naturally. All right. As a result of this, Enel transported Adam and Eve to Gondwana land, and they were monitored there. Now, there are two vital pieces of information to draw from this, and that is that this explains the plural nature of the term Elohim and it also makes it clear that at this point there became two strains of humanity. One strain that was conceived to be slaves to mine gold and another strain that was free yet somewhat monitored which the, the current days of humanity is descended from. All right. Anyway, Enel proceeded to then document all of their descendants. And I just want to point out that all of this happened in a point in Earth history on a very, very high consciousness. Remember, language had to be invented, and this was a point in which thought was the primary means of communication. Just to give you an idea of the higher vibrational quality of 
what I'm telling you. Anyway, I'd like to say that now, with the birthing of a new consciousness here on Earth, that the tree of life is more accessible. All right, keep that in mind. After the events with the tree of knowledge and the advent of reproduction capabilities, Adam and Eve's descendants uh, resided on the island of Gond Gondwana land. Now, during this period, there was a shift in the axis of the planet, which resulted in Gondwana land sinking and an island called Lemuria rising. The descendants were taken from Gondwana land and placed on the island of Lemuria. And we remained there for a period of 65 to 70,000 years. And apparently while we were there, we accelerated quite quickly through the evolutionary path. Apparently, we did experiments on ourselves and implemented physical changes to our bodies. Based on this information, I speculate that this provides a valid explanation for many mythological creatures. You see, um, the Lemurians cracked genetic code pretty quickly, and as a result of that, m many changes to the physical body were implemented. And if you look at these images I'm going to put up of various creatures from Greek mythology, you'll see how it suddenly starts to make sense. All right. That's just a bit of insight on the origin of the strain of humanity that resulted in civilization as we know it, and the beginning of Lemuria. I'd like to just emphasize that because in the next video we're going to be talking about I and Tia and the notion of interdimensional Tantra. <laughs> I'll be talking more about the Tree of Life in the Cosmic Consciousness series, but for now, let's talk about Identia and what they did for mystery schools. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Love yourselves. <laughs>